Hi there. As I promised um, the other day, we're gonna know how to make a little video here showing you how we can do a saddle check of a balanced saddling system and using Skype, FaceTime or Zoom. And if this works well, maybe we can use this method in the future too, because you know, I'm living far away from most of you and sometimes I can't get to everybody when I do my trips. And also the trips, uh, the priority for them, the, the priorities are on the saddle consultations. So it means that if I have a lot of new saddle consultations, I might not have time to help everybody. But what I have discovered in the past is that most people asking for a saddle shake is actually something I could have done from home with a little bit more help than just emails and I think with the technology we have today it is possible so that means we can have contact contact with each other on, on a much better um, regular basis as well right so let me show you what I would like to see if you need my help First of all, the saddle. I want to see the saddle without any pads on to start off with. So Enzo is a little bit asleep here. Uh, he thinks he's going to go for a work and he says, no, thank you, don't want to. Right, so for a balance saddle to work, and this is unique for the balance saddles, no other saddles are fitted like this. So this should be bigger than the horse is, so when I put the hand on the front cantle and one on the back cantle, it should rock. That means we have room for the pads underneath, and also the horse will have room to lift his back. Okay, uh, that's good. Thank you. Then you need to show me what pads you have. I need to know if you have a regular thickness or extra thickness of the wool pad. I use the extra thickness on my horse. So we put that one on. Yeah, I know you want to go out in a minute. I also need to know what other pads you have underneath and it would be really good to know what other pads you have access to at home so um, that could be the pro complete base pad half inch or a quarter inch it could be a fleece base pad in then it could be a half inch and a um, quarter inch jb pad which most of you are called banana pads we could also have um, a remedial A or a remedial B pad. So whatever you have at home, please t let me know and show me what you have. Then I can help you more. So with my saddle I'm using right now, which is actually a new demo saddle. Last time I rode, I had to use the scenario of um, half inch base pad and a quarter inch JB pad and you may notice that mine my pads are not looking that elegant anymore they are grey and sun bleached and don't look so nice but what you should know is that inside the material the pro complete material is still very very good you don't wear them out so when you have a pad looking a little bit ugly like mine there are some really nice slip pads you can put on and you find them in the Balance web shop and I'm told, unless Leslie have changed it already, you find them in the um, department with the bait pads. Okay, so it's the new website. Everything has changed a little bit. But that's where you find them. Right. 
it's always difficult when one wants to do this in front of a camera. Far easier when you're not on the camera, I can tell you that. So, uh, and so here is my small bread mix right here. You obviously have had a bit of, we would say, traumatic experience with working tungsten to saddling and maybe also being ridden. I don't know. So it's not unusual that he pulls faces when I try to put when I saddle him up. Um, you can't let go of those memories. No, I know it's very difficult. So let's put the saddle on. you want to look at is again put the hand on the front cantle one on the back cantle and does the saddle rock yes or no the other thing you really need to know here is the deepest part of the seat is it parallel with the ground or not so um because i don't have anybody to help me here today i have to attach my my iphone to a post but if you have somebody to help you, just ask them to come up and take a picture right from here. Now with this, then I can see. And with this saddle now, um, because it's new and only had about an hour and a half riding in it, it has already changed how it sits on the horse. And I can tell you it's still... It is a little bit downhill in the front, so I will have to attach the JB pad a little bit further in than it was now. Then I will get a better lift and then I will check again how it looks like. Um, once I'm happy with your saddle on your horse with the pads and everything, it's a nice idea that if you have your girls at hands that you cinch the, the saddle up first. And then we can look at how it looks then, because it may change how the saddle sit when the girth is done up. And it's also helpful if I could see you ride a little bit. So that's about the saddle check. And um, if you do need help with in hand work, the remedial program, or even a riding lesson, then I'm sure I can assist you with that too per Skype. Um, we've done that before and I remember Carol telling me, Carol Brett that, is, that she has actually done a lot of riding lessons via Skype when she couldn't get to people. Um, but that's for another time. Okay, so I hope this will be helpful and um, maybe I will talk to you in the next few days. Bye bye.